everyone, my name is Safa. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's Fit Build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building a pool, a public pool for my save file, new crest save file, which um, it's still on progress. I still have to finish a few more builds before I release it. And um, this time we're building a pool. So this is actually my I'm not sure, third or fourth attempts on building a pool. I kept bulldozing everything before I decided just to go with this one over here. And actually, um, this is my first ever time building a pool. So you will, um, you'll see a ton of things that I adjust here and there throughout the video because I wasn't really sure how to do this. I mean. Yes, I've been like to a few different public pools, but they're basically just like square. And I don't want to build something like that because it's because it's kind of boring and I want something that's kind of like fresh and exciting at the same time. So um, this is the, I think this is a 40 by 50 lot in New Crest. I'm not sure, either 40 by 30 or 50 by 40, but this is exactly a uh, right beside the fancy restaurant that I built I'm not sure like weeks ago I think the name of the restaurant next door is Bon Appetit I think um, I could be wrong about that but um, I was very unsure about naming this build because um, when I finished with everything I googled up a lot of like water pool um, swimming pool name ideas and I didn't really feeling them so I kind of um, went from like H2O public pool to Splish and Splash New Crest pool but I decided to call this as a Splash of New Crest swimming pool because I remember there's a lot named in I'm not sure Willow Creek I think I could be wrong about the world but there's a lot called Garden of Essence and it's basically the exact something like that and I did a poll on Instagram like a few weeks ago maybe for you but it was just like two days ago for me I did a poll where I asked you to decide what type of pool do you want me to build and I gave three different options so the first one is a like outdoor pool and the second one is indoor pool or the third option is semi outdoor pool which I think this is quite semi outdoor I'm not sure about that but it's not like very indoorsy but it's not like very outdoor either so so this is kind of like a my take on um, a semi outdoor pool and hopefully you'll enjoy this build because I had a lot of fun building this and um, since this is a public pool I decided just to kind of um, do the color scheme based on how watercolor is I mean they're more like blue and aqua and um, kind of like greenish blue so I basically mimics the color of the water into the building so um, that wallpaper over there the one that's on the front part of the build is actually from Get Famous I believe it's a brick wallpaper but I think it looks really really cool I barely use that and I think since I used it on this build I I have been obsessed with that anyway um, I have to mention that everything is fully functional and I play tested everything even though it was so hard to play test this build because there are a lot of people I mean since um, and I wasn't really sure if they work properly or not but I'm so glad that everything works just fine and um, there are two different pools so the first one is the u-shaped one and I think it's perfect for like adults or basically like bigger or not bigger but like older sims and the smaller one is for the kids maybe for I'm not sure like preteen yes we don't have preteen but just pretend we have preteens um, like preteens and kids and maybe about that age group and there will be also two different like kiddie pools um, the one that came with seasons I believe which you will see later on this video I did put that on the um, side part of the build you will see later and um, it took me quite a while to came up with this build because I was looking up on Pinterest on how to build a pool I mean a, a nice looking one and and so far I have seen like the most boring pools I mean I've only visited like I don't know like seven pools maybe or maybe not more than 15 but they are very boring and I don't want to build something like that I want to build something that's very exciting and um, 
family gameplay friendly so i decided just to put a ton of like family oriented skill building items um on this build so we'll have two swing sets we have um the 10 thingy from dream home decorator i think and we also have the toy boxes we have basically a lot of things here and um this is the reception desk area so um i think it's quite realistic to have something like this and i really wish we could set the like operation hour for each community lots because i think it's such a small thing but it gives a lot of impacts gameplay wise and i would like to have something like that because um because it just doesn't make sense if you visit the pool i don't know at 2 a.m it just doesn't make sense for me but um this is the sims so it won't matter that much but i would like to have something like that and as i mentioned that this is my fourth or third attempt on building a pool but before working on this one i worked on a 40 by 30 lot i think basically it's like a smaller lot than this but i realized that it's just way too small it's incredibly small that i couldn't fit the pool i mean that sounds stupid but that's the truth because i didn't really expect that we need like a huge space to have a pool i mean i i'm not sure how big the swimming pool lot is in Winnenberg? I think the lot name is Bath the Real or something like that. I'm not sure. But there's a pool in um, Winnenberg, which I think it's one of the most beautiful built in Winnenberg. I love that build so much. And I'm not sure about the lot size of that. I have to check that later on. But um, this whole build has two different wings so um both things basically the exact same thing i just like copied them from one side to the other because um that's how it's supposed to be and this is not going to be a like a fun swimming pool with like fancy slides and stuff because i'm not capable of doing that i know a lot of people or builders um that are capable of doing that but i'm i'm not i don't have that much patience and my tool game isn't as creative as them so yeah this is not going to be like a very cool pool with a lot of slides and like the tunnel thingy you know like the um like water park basically no it's just like a really basic pool so um as you can tell that i did put the flamingo thingy i believe it's a debug item from base game but i realized when i took the screenshots that it's kind of terrifying to have that flamingo i mean it doesn't have the best um i mean the quality isn't the best because it's a debug item and also the eyes the eyes are terrifying so i had to delete that and i did put two more pool floaties i believe so we have like three or four i'm not sure about that but i think we have the pizza one and the other one i'm not sure about the other one so um that's that and i try to limit the packs usage as much as i could but i still use quite a lot of packs um like movie hangout stuff because i did put the um wait i'm not sure at the movie hangout or the cool kitchen one but i'm pretty sure it was the cool kitchen one because i i remember I did put the uh, ice cream machine one, which is really really fun. Um, I totally forgot to playtest that um, because when I was playtesting this, my main goal is to make sure that everything works, such as the pool, the um, like lounge area, the kitty play area, the the bathrooms, and basically everything, but not the that machine that ice cream machine so i'm truly sorry about that if it doesn't work just delete that it's totally fine if you want to make some changes i don't mind it but we have this kind of like a food court area because it's quite realistic because um here in my country you're not allowed to bring any food or drinks um into the pool so you have to buy something from the tenants there and um, it's quite 
realistic for me to have this kind of like a food court area so i decided just to use this kind of um i don't know what kind of thing that is but it's the one from discover university where you can get um free meals from the library or the dorms i believe and i think that's such a really cool idea because you can i don't know like order your food there and eat them there on the um, food court area and i did stack up some chairs some extra chairs so it makes it more realistic and also i did put two um toddler eating chairs is that the name i'm not sure but that thing um because i know in my country in some water parks it's quite common to have something like that i'm not sure about some other places but it's quite common here and um also we have two different bathrooms or washrooms or whatever it is you want to call that but um let's just pretend one is for male sims and the other one is for female sims but i didn't put the sign thingy for the either gender so let's just pretend that it's for two different gender um i hope you're okay with that and i use the shower boxes from spa day because i'm pretty sure it won't make your sims have the emirates mood flat because i know it's quite annoying to have something like that but both um bathroom or washroom or whatever it is are basically the same thing i just copied them one to another so um that's that and um i know this speed bill is kind of like a jumping motion from one spot to another that's because i wasn't really sure on how to build this and i was figuring out everything so um please bear with me hopefully it's totally okay and um so i want to do a little update on my save file so far we've had a pool a gym uh, a cafe a karaoke bar or a bar um, we also have an art center, we have a basketball court and I just finished building a library, surprise surprise. It's already on my library but not uploaded to the gallery or made it public yet because I haven't played testing it. Um, but I will make sure to upload it once I play test it. I will be out of town for a few days so hopefully I can play test that once I'm back. and. Um, we only have three more lots left i believe yeah three more so one is the area on the top part of the map and the two are on this neighborhood so um please let me know what kind of build you want me to build but i have built a lot of um community lots lately i'm not sure why but i used to hate building community lots because i wasn't so sure on how to create one and I don't know how to make it less boring <laughs> because my older community lots build are very boring and very not exciting so it's quite strange to see me building a lot of community lots um, lately and also I've built another community lots but not for the save file which I will be sharing very soon maybe right after the library post I'm not sure. I still have a lot of builds that I have to work on to playtest everything first. So yeah, and um, let me know if you have some more recommendations on what to build for my save file. And um, I think after I finish with the new press save file, I will be doing the... I'm not sure, either Oasis Springs or Willow Creek, but I think I'm going to work on Willow Creek first. But I have no idea how to build a park how to make it look fun and less boring and not just like a lot of like land space you know um if you have some tips please let me know down below and i think that's it i'm not sure and oh yeah i believe you have seen the play kids play area so we have two kids play areas um the first one is where the swing sets are and the other one is where the um dream home decorator tent and the toolboxes not toolboxes toy boxes are and both area have scents and the scents that i use i believe is from sula not Fuxulani. i'm sorry um island living and you can make your younger sims 
building sand castles here or I don't know like doing those things um, I'm not really sure on what else you can do with the sand pit thingy and I think that's it we just have to finishing up the build a little bit here and there and we'll be heading on to the screenshots in just a moment so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you can find it under my ea id which is alpha Tierra, or under the hashtag plummy sims you can also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website it'll have two different links the first one is the gallery download link and the other one is the trade files link from simplashare and please let me know what kind of builds you want me to do next we have three medium sized lots left and yeah um just just let me know so I really hope you have enjoyed this video and if you do, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to, you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. So I'm going to go right now. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting me. I hope you have the very best day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!